Good morning. Right. Welcome to the Rondo Days Parade. This is the 20th anniversary of this event. We'd like to welcome you all here. We have a nice, clear, sunny day. Hope you all enjoy the festivities. We're looking forward to 20 more years of this. I'm Stan Freelix, and in a few minutes, we'll have my co back here, Craig Jones, and he'll be right back with you. You see, coming up now, we have the police, St. Paul Police Color Guard. Well, Craig, I see we got the color guard coming up here, and behind the color guard, we have the St. Paul Police Chief. Uh, Corky Finney. That looks like it'd be about a 1958 Buick. You know, Corky's into those classic cars, uh, in, in addition to Harleys. And, uh, man, I like the way that looks. Behind Corky, we got the Pythons from Kansas City, Missouri. Giving him a little old home field from back in the day, all the way through the parade. Coming to you July 19, 2003. Corky! everybody. Rondo's a wonderful old community and a wonderful remembrance of a community that once was and still is. But it was a nuclear community of many wonderful people who've gone on to do wonderful things all across the nation. And I'm proud to be a native son of Rondo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Corky. Appreciate having you. Appreciate looking at that beautiful car of yours, too. All right. There we got Panthers. Kansas City, Missouri. Go ahead, look at him kicking it. You can see them tonight at the drill competition downtown at the Roy Wilkins Auditorium. But they'll be jamming like they always have every year. Oh yeah, look at him. Go ahead, get down, girl. You know, this is the way it was in the old days. We was the kids watching the Elks, Cato, Peters, Drum and Bugle Corps. Uh, with Du Bois, all of them. It was jamming. And it's happy and fun to see the tradition is being carried on from generation to generation. Let's give a listen to them. All right. Behind them, we have coming up KMOJ 89.9. Oh, wow. That's a sweet ride they're in right there. Look at this limo coming up. KMOJ in the house. Behind KMOJ, we got the uh, fire department went from their antique fire trucks. Maintain it. Oh man, look at that ride there. KMOJ 89.9. I think we need to hook up with KMOJ so we're riding that limo. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe they'll come back and take us up to the park. All right, St. Paul Fire Department training truck. Got our brothers on there. All right. As you come up in this antique car is the St. Paul Winter Carnival Junior and Senior Royalty. With the Grand Marshal. Floyd Smaller and Roger Anderson coming by. Come, 
coming up here on one of the old Rondo trolleys, we have the uh, St. Paul Winter Carnival Junior and Senior Royalty. That, that trolley car is one that we rode on as kids, going right down Rondo to downtown St. Paul. Took you all the way up to uh, where you could catch the uh, Selby Lake going across um, the Lake Street Bridge, Marshall, and ended up on uh, Lake Street over by Lake Calhoun. Oh, yeah, man. Probably switch out here. <laughs> okay, coming up behind the city capital trolley, we have the royalty, junior and senior royalty for the St. Paul Winter Carnival. What does Rondo Days mean to you? Um, it means a lot. It means basically a really a lot for me. So what exactly are you guys? Um, we're the Winter Carnival Junior Royalty, uh, with, sponsored by St. Paul um, Parks and Recreation. All right, thank you. Yeah, on the float with, for the Senior Royalty, we have uh, John Brannigan, Queen of the, and, and Queen of the uh, Netherlands, Ellen Giles, Junior Royalty, King Frost, Roberto Cabello, Queen of the Snowflakes, Elizabeth Lee, along with the Royal Court. They represent the city of multiple parades throughout the city. We also have St. Peter Claver Church and School, Father Kevin. And behind them, we have this one we don't have our list. We have the Twin Cities, Miss Continental, Aisha Coleman, riding in a beautiful Corvette. Oh, a gorgeous young lady there. Miss Twin Cities Continental. Hi, how are you doing today? And who are you? Asha Shakir Kalman, Miss Continental. Miss Continental, how does it feel to be Miss Continental and ride in the Rondo Days Parade? Great. Well, you have a good day. Thank you, Whitney. Uh, looks like we've had a bit of a pause here. Uh, we also have, you know, as, as Rondo Days goes along, we have to deal with the traffic. So uh, you have to bear with us during these times. This is the 20th annual Rondo Day celebration. Uh, it's we've got a beautiful day out here. Unlike last year, we had a little bit of rain. Uh, we're, we're enjoying ourselves. But as I said before, we've got a bit of a gap here with the uh, traffic as Rondo was our street. And with the advent of I-94, it divided the community, which is the celebration of a lost community that we're trying to always remember annually and, and bring back some of those memories. A lot of the things that goes on here are the things that went on when we were youngsters uh, growing up in the Twin City area. And one of those things that, that the freeway has created in addition to dividing us is uh, delaying us. And that's our delay right now today. Um, well, we have a little bit of delay today and hopefully this will be the last delay that we have to this parade. But in the meanwhile, we can enjoy the beautiful Proud, the beautiful day. And it's just good to be out here in, in St. Paul on a wonderful day, don't you think? It's a beautiful day, beautiful day. We're enjoying ourselves. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better day to come out to the park, uh, enjoy the festival. Uh, there's food vendors. They're located at the intersection of uh, Selby, Chats, uh, Milton, Selby, Oxford, and Chatsworth at the Hill School. Uh, there's vendors there with food. Uh, dynamite ribs, chicken wings. Uh, I know there was some turkey legs that I jumped on last year. You know, they had those uh, Kansas City style ribs there last year too. Oh, and I hear they're back this year. <laughs> uh, you know what, <laughs> those are some bumping ribs because what they did was they came up here to practice on us to uh, get ready for uh, rib fest. <laughs> and you know, uh, ain't nothing better than practicing on somebody's ribs, especially when they're from out of town. And, you know, we represent here, they represent there. And it's big fun when we can have a competition on tasting some ribs. You know, another good treat I had at the festival last year was the walking taco. Walking taco, tell me about that. I, I, I missed that one. Well, it's everything you get on a, a taco, but they put it in a uh, 
What's that called? T tortilla chip Oh, bag. a tortilla. Okay. And then roll it? it in a chip bag, you know. Oh, you okay. Put the chips in there with it. All right. And give you a fork or spoon and walk around. Don't have to worry about slopping it all down here. Oh. Outfit or anything now like that. That might be something I have to try today. Uh, that's quite tasty, please. Yeah, that's put something some I have to try. Put some sauce on it. You're in there. So hopefully we're uh, talking enough about food, make everybody hungry enough to come on down to the event and enjoy some of the activities that are going to be going on today. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it. J.J. Hill on uh, Selby between Oxford and Chatsworth. Yeah, we'll have it going on all day. We've, Like I said, we've got the parade, we've got the festival, and then this evening there'll be the drill competition, which is uh, one heck of a fun time. Uh, it, it reminds you of, if, if you're our age, older, reminds you of when we were kids. You'd hear, the, you'd hear the drum and bugle chorus practicing from blocks away, and you'd go running to see, see who it was. Oh, the Elks. The Elks is practicing. Yep. And there we go. You know, so. Well, I'm, I'm going to be in the drum and bugle chorus when I get big. Ooh, I think I might have to go to the old school. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of old school, there is an old school group that comes up here every year. Um, I believe they're uh, from Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, and they are some of the original people that played in the drum and bugle chorus uh, from back in the day. Uh, it's, it's still got it going on. As you can see, we've got quite a crowd here at the intersection of Eigelhart and Victoria. Uh, enjoying the parade, and enjoying the time that they have to chat with each other while we uh, deal with a little bit of a delay here. Uh, based on traffic, and well, we're going to work it out. We're going to have a good time. Well, like I said, hopefully this is the only gap here, and uh, the crowd is, they're still coming in too, so people are still coming on up to see the parade. Uh, they picked a fine time to be late because we had the delay, so they're not going to miss too much. Oh, yeah. No, you're never going to miss anything at Rondo Days because you know, the, the neighborhood is such that you can take some shortcuts and get to another spot, because if you miss somebody or if you like somebody, walk along with them and enjoy that parade. And what does the Rondo community bring to the neighborhood for you? Lots of fond memories. Mm -hmm. Fun memories? Did you have something you wanted to say too? See, I like these guys. I've, I'm not from the Rondo community, but I've been here a long time, and and uh, this community, I've seen it grow over the years, and it's a lot of fun things, a lot of fun uh, things in the community to do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you, Whitney. That was that was a nice interview. Uh, we always enjoy talking to uh, the people in the crowds because a lot of the people in the crowds are people that grew up here and create helped create this community. Uh, we're talking about fathers, mothers, grandparents, uh, old school family. And that is what this parade's about, bringing back the fond memories of back in the day. And uh, hopefully we can bring up, a, stir up a lot of memories for the people who's been around and we can give a lot of people who are new to this community reasons to come out and be part of this community. Right, that's absolutely correct. You know, I mean, standing behind me in the background here, there's a, the house there that I remember the people that grew up there, uh, the Robbins family, uh, Margo, uh, Gordy, Althea, uh, and their parents, Laura May and Jerry Robbins. And, uh, you know, it, it's like this is where we were when we were kids. And um, we're in, you know, it's back in the day, back having fun. Uh, Debbie Montgomery is someone that grew up here in the Twin Cities, lifelong resident of Rondo and she's now running for Ward 1 City Council. Oh, wow, and, and you know what? Another thing that I'm enjoying about this parade is, is some of these old time cars. Some of these old time cars, it's really enjoyable to see all these again. How are you guys doing today? Great, doing great. Are you enjoying the Rondo Days Parade? This is your first time? Yeah. Do you feel, do you use a it feels very nice to be riding around in the parade. Oh, yes. I should be preparing for my daughter's wedding, but it's a week away. I'm out here for Debbie. I love Debbie. All right. You have a great day. Okay. Debbie Montgomery's mother. And I believe I see Debbie coming up here, riding on that, on riding on a truck. So um, what are you running for? 
I'm running for Ward 1 City Council. And your name is? My name is Debbie Montgomery. I was born and raised here. I know this community. I remember Rondo when it was a street, not a celebration. <laughs> and I want to be here when we can make this ward back to the economic powerhouse that we had in the old days. Thank you. That's Debbie Montgomery. Debbie Montgomery. All right, here we go back with the, more of the parade. And you know, the parade is a celebration. And you hear the, you hear the party in the background? We're ready to party up here in the foreground. River of Life Christian Church. This church has been in the community for over 20 years. River of Life provides a spiritual home for many of Rondo's residents. That's good. Another part of the community that comes out, gets into the spirit of the festival, and helps the people get into the spirit of the festival. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's bringing it's carrying me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day here. Because River of Life, River of Life is putting it on for us. It's led by the uh, Apostle Betty L. Williams, senior pastor. River of Life Church, located at 739 Summit Avenue. <laughs> can, you, can you find a better way to praise the Lord? Amen. Listen to him. Urban Academy, Urban Academy coming up. Urban Academy is a charter school founded in 2001 and opening 2003 school year sponsored by Hamlin University and supported by the Urban Teaching Program. The Academy is a Rondo institution set up to provide quality education for grades K through six. And we appreciate the, that opportunity because no child should be left behind. And we don't want any child left behind. That's, that's why we have the Urban Academy and other things. Now we have Mount Olivet Baptist Church. Reverend James Battle, pastor, located at 451 West Central Avenue in St. Paul. Mount Olivet has been in our community as long as I can remember, uh, along with a number of our other churches. Okay, so we got a little bit out of order there. Here we come with Alger for City Council. Stuart Alger running for City Council in St. Paul. And now we have the Urban Academy Charter School. And right behind them, we have the Card Lane Visual and Performing Arts Middle School. Dressed in purple and white. Purple and white pom-poms. Girls enjoying themselves. All right, step it on out. Listen to them, listen to them. Step it on out. Go ahead, kids. for nothing. I couldn't play them drums, but ooh, did I love listening to it. And I still love it. Still love it. Next we have Old Country Buffet. Old Country Buffet representing in the house. 
And we really appreciate having them involved this year with us. Oak Creek Buffet offers food, restaurant to the residents of the community area, smorgasbord, <laughs> and it, their food is really good. Next we have Johnny Howard, another one of our city council candidates for Ward 1. Uh, let's see here, where is Johnny? There's Johnny Howard coming up right there. All right. Johnny Howard for city council. Looks like we're gonna see if we can get it, Whitney to get an interview with uh, Johnny. Have him say a few words for us. Johnny Howard, labor endorsed for city council. The bus sponsored by Arnella's, 1183 University Avenue. Arnella's features music, jazz, blues. Every day of the week, you can get something down there. <laughs> and you talk about Johnny having some luck. You got the How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Feeling wonderful. And your name is? My name is Johnny Howard. Run for Ward 1 City Council. The candidate whose feet have been in the street. Well, your feet have been in the street. That's very nice. Huh? So how do, you, um, how do you feel about the Rondo community? I love the Rondo community. It's historic. It's a great community. It's historic. All right, there you go. All right. Behind Johnny Howard, we got the Gateway Plaza High Steppers out of Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> Another opportunity. Check out one of the groups that is going to be in our drill competition tonight. You know, most of these groups come here every year for this. And it's fun to see the kids grow up. You look at some of these young people now. They'll be back here for the next 10, 20, 30 years. And then their kids will be back here. And it's the same old school. Listen to them. It's always fun to see the fruits of their labors. Coming up, we have the Catholic Charities. You know, Catholic Charities has always been a part of this community. We've got St. Peter Claver Catholic Church right here in St. Paul. It's where the parade started from. And they've always been a part of what we have to offer, what Rondo has had to offer. Coming up, we have Bao Vang, another candidate for Ward 1 City Council. We also have Cal Thang running for city council, or I'm sorry, running for the school board. We also have Al Ortwig running for the school board. Betty McCollum, McCollum our congressperson. Happy to have Betty here. Along with all our other candidates and Carol running for school board. Next we have the KC Marching Falcons. A standard here at Rondo Days. They've been coming here just about every year that the Rondo Days parade has been going on. And we're proud to welcome them back again.
know, it's got me going. Just this little bit of tease I'm getting watching the parade. Wasn't that great? One of the best parts of being in the community is watching the young people from the community come out and do their thing just right here in the community. And it's all about community. And, and, and that's so absolutely right. I mean, you've got a beautiful day, beautiful people, friends you haven't seen in a long time, and particularly some of those that come from out of town and come every year. You know, this KFI, the Grand Diva, the Grand Diva. Come on, Fresh Air Radio. We see we got Lady J driving the car there. Grand Diva coming to you. Hi, and your name is? KFAI Rules. And what is the Rondo community you see? I grew up in the Rondo community. At my age, I was uh, one of the youngsters. I played in the it play, I played in the ditch that became Highway 94. So I directly remember all the homes and businesses that used to be right there in that spot. Used to be Rondo, they call it Concordia now. I'm Jackie Maddox, longtime resident of St. Paul. I am Lady J from KFAI. This is the Grand Diva, D. Henry Williams. Hey, what's up, what's up? All right, behind the Grand Diva, we have Vic Rosenthal, Ward 1 City Council candidate. Oh, he's got his own little jamming band with him. And what you hear in the background is the Panthers. And what does this parade mean? It, it's a way of showing pride for the community and showing that this community is still growing and doing well. All right, thank you. Thank you. Behind Vic Rosenthal, we have the Panthers out of Omaha, Nebraska. Check them out. They're, they're another one that's been here every year. And you will be able to see the full show tonight at the Roy Wilkins Auditorium, the drill competition. It's really great watching this group. They're here year after year, and you can always depend on them being here and adding a little joy to our festival. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, behind the Panthers, we have Fresh Air Radio. 90.3, Minneapolis. 106.7 in St. Paul on your FM dial. Fresh Air offers fresh air music coming from all over the world. You get the world beat, a little bit of everything. Another candidate of ours for Ward 1 City Council, Robert McLean. Robert's been a lifelong resident of the Twin Cities, and uh, I've known him quite well myself personally. And we're happy to see him running for uh, City Council this time. We wish him the best of luck, along with all our other candidates uh, this, e this year. It's going to be a wide open race with quite a few people uh, after that one spot, formerly held by uh, Jerry Blakey, and uh, soon to be held by somebody new. Child Care Center located in Martin Luther King Center. Uh, we also have the VF, the Addicts Brooks American Legion Post represented here. Uh, Addicts Brooks Post. Robert McLean. I'm running for Ward 1 uh, City Council. And um, what does the Rondo Festival mean to you? 
Well, the Rondo Festival marks a, a recognition of a history of a community. A uh, community that's been here since I've been. I've been here 30 something years and I've known about the Rondo community since I've been here. And so this is just a recognition for people to remember old times and hopefully build upon that to build a stronger community. Thank you. Thank you. We have the St. Paul Urban League and their youth organization following up, Robert McLean. Um, oh, yes. St. Paul Urban League working to build a better community through employment, um, home purchases, and vital stability to the community. And behind them we have Tyrone Terrell, Director of the St. Paul Human Rights Department. Personal enrichment programs for African Americans, PEPA of St. Paul, Minnesota. This youth-based program is nonprofit and provides instructional golf training for youth in the area, grades five through eight. And uh, that's something that I dearly need. Uh-oh. We're getting ready to have a little tee off here and see how they do. I hope, we, I hope they're using wiffle balls, because I don't know if I can duck that fast. I'm, I'm going to hide behind this lady here sitting next to the stand here. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Taj Mahal Goodlow leading the group there. And our new future Tiger Woods. We won't be calling him Tiger, but one of these kids could be that kid. That for next next one. Peppa's board chairman, Eric Goodlow. Boy, I tell you, another thing about Rondo Day, some of these cars. Look at that Porsche. Huh? I could ride around in that. I could ride around in that. I'm Pepper a traveling man. I, I take the van. That way I'm traveling comfort. Oh, no. If I'm not comfortable in that Porsche, I'll pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do that. Fairway Foundation. Another one of the sponsors for uh, the Peppa Golf Group. It can be, it can be reached at 763-542-8586. Fairwayfoundation.org on your internet. This is a major Taylor bicycling group. Myself, I'm too tired to bike. By the time I get done with this parade, I'm ready to chill. Okay, we got the Stompin' Jaguars out of Omaha, Nebraska, wearing gray and gold. Again, another group that we'll be able to see at the uh, drill competition tonight. They're directed by Marcus Howard. Let's give them a listen because they're, they're getting it on again too.
Jumping Jaguars out of Omaha, Nebraska. Minnesota Brigade of the Elks of the World. Commander. Commander of the Elks. Coming behind them, we have the Jimmy Lee Youth Group. Supporting Jimmy Lee Athletics, a, a leader in sports in the community. I mean, back in the day, uh, this place, same playground where David Winfield grew up. Molitor played there. Uh, we've, we've got a number of world-class athletes that have played out of the Jimmy Lee Center, uh, Hall of Famers, and we're still doing it on. And don't forget, uh, Jimmy Lee, which in the old days is known as Oxford Playground, just about every athlete in our neighborhood got their start there, whether it's in basketball, football, or some other sport. I used to play hockey there when I was growing up. Mm. Well, see, I couldn't get into that hockey because I like to stay in the warming house. I didn't like getting cold. But yeah, we, ha we have had a number of athletes that have played on World Series teams. David Winfield, Stacy Robinson uh, was on that New York Giants team that uh, uh, won the Super Bowl one year. Right here out of our own community. Uh, and we're just gonna keep on doing it. We've, we've got a number, uh, Mo Hargrove, playing for the University of Minnesota. Number of other people that have grown up in this community. Next, we have the FLC Charter School. It's enrolling now uh, youth in kindergarten through seventh grade. You know, some of our charter schools have, have shown their significant value to the community in terms of reaching out to those kids that might otherwise have been left behind because we do not want to lose any of our young people for any reason any way, shape, or form. It, it takes all of us to raise a community. And if you remember back in the day, uh, you didn't dare get in trouble because if mom and daddy didn't catch you, and not and uncle didn't catch you, the neighbors did, and you were just still in trouble. That's right, and our children are our future. It's a precious cargo that we must guard and care for until they're at adult age. You care, tooth care. Hey, you gotta take care of your teeth if you wanna keep on eating. They can be reached at 1-866-451-15555. You care offers health coverage to all Minnesotans in need. The Minneapolis office offers its services to all in need. They can be reached, like I say, at 1-866-451-1555 or www.ucare.org on the internet. Behind them we have the Isorettes, located at Des Moines, Iowa, under the direction of Joan Hill. You know, groups from Des Moines have been coming up here since I was a kid. And they still come up here and kick it a little bit. Listen to them.
All right. Larry right, Surrett's right. out of Des Moines, Iowa, under the direction of Joan Hill. And they got it going on. Now we've got the Regalettes Social Club. Riding in the cars of Regalette members who have lived in Rondo all their lives. The social club offers and gives their time, services, and gifts to those less fortunate in the Rondo community. And, and let me tell you, a number of these people I've known all my life. Oh, yes. And, oh, man, right look at that L dog. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, indeed. The Regalettes. It's good to have them here again. Eureka Recycling. The new name for our recycling in the Twin Cities area. St. Paul Central. Football team. It's here for the Minutemen. Behind them, we have Concordia. Concordia University is a school that has given a number of our young people an opportunity to continue playing athletics after high school. A number of schools may have overlooked them, but you know what? These kids have put Concordia on the map. I believe they were number three in their conference last year, just missing the playoffs by one game. With most of their team returning, look for bigger, bigger and better things. Okay, Minnesota Department of Transportation provides employment for a number of our Rondo residents, keeps the freeways and streets clean for the area. We're proud to have them along. They've been here every year and we hope to maintain them as a permanent fixture. Solo Grocery. Solo Grocery offers food at reasonable prices so all can enjoy. With four convenient Twin Cities locations, everyone is sure to get what they're looking for. Solo Grocery Outlet. Mm. You know, I queued yesterday, John the Baby and I, Johnny Baby, that's, you know, everybody had a nickname in the neighborhood. But Johnny and the Baby and I queued. And you know what, looking at that cow on that thing, mmm. I think he looked good on the, over the roasting fire right oh, now. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, man, give me a little hickory and some mesquite and mix it with a little bit of apple. Huh. I can burn, burn on that. Yes, indeed. Coming up, we have Pheasant Court number seven, Daughters of Isis. Min Jr. reading the license plate here. Looking at that Cadillac with the wide side white walls. Kavina Nakawala, Miss Pan African 2003. Beautiful young lady there, beautiful. Beautiful car too. Oh my goodness. Most worshipful Prince Hall, Grand Lodge, Minnesota Grand Master. David U. Collins, Prince Hall Grand Chapter, Order of the Eastern Star. Margaret Coleman, Worthy Grand Matron. You know, Stan, both our parents were involved in, in the uh, Daughters of Isis, the Masonic Lodge, uh, and it's always good to see when they're, that they're still around and involved uh, with everything that we've ever been about. We got the illustrious point, potentate, Stephen C. Davis. Charlene Briscoe, Imperial Deputy of the Oasis. Fezzan Court number seven, Daughters of Isis. Riding behind her, we have the Electress Commandress Olivia Dye. Fezzan Court number seven, Daughters of Isis. And a number of the daughters of the Daughters of, uh, daughters of Isis.
You know, it's good to get all these people from the community out in the parade because, you know, for some of these people here, they don't even know these groups exist. That's, that's right. And, you know, we're kind of fortunate in that these groups, these people, we've known all our lives. I've known these, these ladies on, on this van here all my life uh, because my mother was always involved. Oh, Stan, there's your mother. No, that's my sister. Oh, I'm but sorry. I'm let her know you said that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to get you for that. Marion, I good to see you. The Pheasant Court also has a Daughters of Isis, Isorettes group, this which is, is a drill team. This is a drill team, yep. They do uh, military-style marching and movements, and they uh, perform in several different competitions throughout the year. This is one of those also good groups to give the, our youth something to do in the, the afternoons after they get out of school. That's right. They're led by Charlene Briscoe. Um, and she's been with them as long as I can remember. It's good to see you again. Good to see that they've got the group back together. Okay, Kelly Miles, Miss Isaac Queen. All right, now our own St. Paul's own half pints. You know what? Don't be fooled by that name. These kids, these kids be kicking it. And they're having fun while they're at it. Right here from St. Paul, Minnesota. They're under the direction of Tanya Poole, James Harris, and Tisha Jones. And they're growing in numbers every year. Let's give a listen to the half points. kids in the background hollering at all their friends, waving and giving them a shout out. Go ahead. There's a real half pint there that's going to be a future marcher with us. All Next, right. we got the Phi Beta Sigma fraternity, founded by three men at Howard University. The values, goals, and traditions of the fraternity still being held on today by a St. Paul chapter. <clears throat> Phi Beta Sigma. I know there's a lot of Sigmas out there, so you know what? Turn off the TV and come on down to the drill competition. Come on to the festival. Enjoy yourself. Get something to eat. Have a good time. Next, we got a six-time participant in the Rondo Days Parade. The old school from Omaha, Nebraska, under the direction of Joy Lyons. Old school's turned into a blend of young and old. 
you know, we can only do this for so long. I know when I get out there and try to do like some of that old stuff, my kids laugh at me. So does everybody else, but that's beside the point. It's the idea is to have fun, enjoy the music, meet with old friends, and just have a good time. Well, you can get out there with them and do those moves. You know, I know you still got it in you, but I suggest you don't do the splits anymore. Uh, I can't do that. I have to carry a chiropractor with me at all times if I was going to do stuff like, oh, no. No, 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 no. Homie can't do that anymore. I'll break something. Maybe it's something in the greens down in Omaha that they can keep on doing that. Step it on out. Warms the heart to see these young people out here doing these performances, you know that? Makes you jealous, don't it? <laughs> well, yeah, that I don't have that energy and I can't do those moves no more. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We've got George got Jeets for a school board here in St. Paul. Get back to the basics, reading and writing, and more teachers, less administration. Thanks very much. The first well, time you. candidate, but nonetheless, we want we want to wish all of our candidates the best of luck. Tom Swift. Tom Swift also is a candidate running for um, school board here in St. Paul. Honey Hervey. Honey Hervey is a candidate for the city council here in Ward 1, right here in this community in St. Paul, the Sylvie Dale Midway area. Formerly served by Jerry Blakey. Yep. We wish him the best of luck also. Behind him we have Tom Conlon. Tom is a long time member of the school board here in St. Paul, a uh, graduate of Highland High School. Uh, we have Tom Conlon coming up. Tom is a member of, current member of the school board here in St. Paul. Uh, Tom attended, graduated from Highland Park High School. Your name and what are you running for? Uh, Tom Conlon, I'm on the St. Paul school board running for fourth term re-election. And what does the Rondo community mean to you? Uh, it's a very strong part of the community. Uh, it's been here many years. Uh, contributed a lot to St. Paul's growth and uh, in its industries. And it's a tragedy that we lost much of it in the 50s with the freeway construction. And so how does this whole festival make you feel to see everybody come out and support the whole community? It rebuilds old memories. It brings community together. And I think uh, just a chance to have fun, have a great time. All right, thank you and have a good day. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Whitney. TD Auto coming up. Oh, man, look at that Oldsmobile, huh? What is that, about a 67? I'm not a big car person, but it's... <laughs> I like the way it sounds, I like the way it looks, but I don't think I can afford to put gas in it. TD Auto was founded by Tim Dawson, who has worked on cars in the Rondo neighborhood for 10 years. Oh, this is the 84 Cutlass, was originally built for drag racing. Right in the car is Tim, Deanna, Olivia, Anthony, and Lynn. I've uh, put a motor in it, uh, had a race tranny built for it, uh, changed the rear end around, customized the dash. And it looks very nice, so I bet this is a very fast car then, isn't it? It does pretty well for the amount of money I've got into it. And what year is it? It's an 84 Cutlass. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Whitney. 
Coming up here, we have the Sabatha Nets out of South Minneapolis. Many of some of the old school elves. Hey, all right, that's what we remember. Now, if you all call that old school, that's fine, but it looks good to me. Well, it's definitely old school, and it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like I said, the days we yeah. want to be in the Elf Scrum and Butte Corps. You know, that's even one of the beats, the old beats they used to play too. And the way they're playing, it, using them trick sticks with the hands, that's exactly the way it was back in the day when you came running for blocks away because you could hear the drums. We have the Martin Luther King tennis buffs teaching the tennis to young and old alike in our community here. Located at the Martin Luther King Center at Kent and Igohart. Bounded by Arundel. Another area where we all grew up in. We have the MLK tennis buffs. We were founded in the late 70s and we are a community organization. And we're teaching uh, community people how to play tennis. And so you've been around just about as long as the community has? Just it, about. Just about. <laughs> yes, we have. And we have youth, and we have elders, and we have everybody. So. All right, well, thank you. All right. Behind them, we have the new addition marching band out of Baltimore, Maryland. And if I'm if I'm right, I think this is the second year uh, being involved in Rondo Days. I know it's at least the second year because they were definitely here last year. Yeah, they were they were kick. Oh look, at that drill comp competition last year. Oh man, they surprised a whole lot of folks. I think everybody ought to get down, get their tickets, and get to the drill uh, drill event. Watch that competition tonight. It's gonna be a good one. I don't, I don't know how you, how you can stand missing it after the little sip. Okay, but we had fun practicing. Hi, and uh, what do you guys do for the community? We're a social uh, fraternity that we do all kind of service programs for the community, uplifting the community, uh, making awareness, uh, doing all we can to make sure our community is uplifted in a positive nature. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, the new addition marching band out of Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Now, These uh, people put on a show last year. Yeah, this is at least the second check, year in the event. Yeah, and check they're definitely the coming down the to the, the work, come down to the competition to see this group perform because they are very outstanding.
home now. <laughs> you tell me you're going to stay home and after this sample and not check this out? Oh, no. What's wrong with y'all? I know where you better be this evening. I know where you best be. Because if you don't be there, you're going to miss out. All the way from Baltimore, Maryland. They came here to show y'all how it's done out east. There will be some tough competition, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope. I dare somebody to predict a winner out of all this. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Kansas City Falcons out of Kansas City, Missouri. No. This is the Falcons' sixth year as a round of participants from Kansas City. They're directed by Shakina Dawkins. You know, it's fun how they keep recycling these kids. I mean, as they get older, the younger ones just step right in place. Merck, representing Herge's Bar and Eastside Beverage. They've always been a supporter of Rondo Days. It's a Mercury completely restored That's by Wayne Miller. Mercury? Yes, it is. Looks like is that driven by Roy Moody and some of our volunteers that have helped out in the parade today. Look at that bad boy. Wayne did an excellent job of restoring that. Oh, yeah. He right down to every last detail. This is one of the two that he restored. You know, we're very privileged uh, to have been able to borrow this car for the parade today. Ah, there goes some of my sweeties riding in that have been helping us out today. We appreciate having them. We appreciate all the volunteers that we get to help us out. Brian Moody. <laughs> Okay, in the Model T, driven by Norm Cornier, we have the directors of the Rondo Days Parade. Mr. and Mrs. Mark Beecham, Sharon, Norm, Mark. <laughs> Get out there, Karen, let me ride. And how long have you been helping with the Rondo Days event? Five years. And are you coming back next year? Sure. What's your favorite part about Rondo Day? Um, the Josie competition. Okay, you guys have fun. You need to be at that drill competition tonight. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> and you know what? One of those that's always in the competition, more as exhibition than competing, is the Over the Hill Gang. They're out of Omaha, Omaha Nebraska. These right here are the great people who help organize this Rondo Day and help keep everything in order. This nice gentleman right here had gave us a ride down here to help with, uh, with the parade so I could be giving interviews and keeping you guys informed, letting you know what the Rondo community thinks. What do you guys think? Hey, it's bigger than it was last year. So we have a very nice turnout. You hear that from the people of the community. And this is the this is the the director, the head director of the event staff. This is Mark. Hello, how are you? Good. And uh, what's your favorite part about Rondo Day? Boy, to be over and uh, successful. All right, you guys have fun. See you at the end. All right, next we've got the Over the Hill Gang out of Omaha, Nebraska. Now, you know, they, they usually come every year more so as an exhibition team as opposed to actually being in the competition. But you know what? The fun part about it is that they bring back some of what the Rondo Days is all about. I mean, these are people that came here years ago when, when they had the drill competition back when I was a little kid. 
And some of these people are the same original people, but some new members. And they just have a blast traveling the country, doing their thing. See, you're never too old to party. Don't forget to party on down to the drill competition. Check them out. Jones, Stan Freelich, coming to you from Michael Hart in Victoria, 20th annual Rondo Days Parade. Thank you. We appreciate your, your participation. We've enjoyed ourselves. We'll see you all at the drill competition this evening. That's that. Thank you very much. It's over, but now the festivities can start, and everybody can have even a better Head time to the park, than watching the parade. down, party back. All right. Stanley, it's been a pleasure. Craig, as always, we'll see you again next year. I hope so.